you doing, guys? This is Social TV. Sean here, Roman the Isles of Art in the Park 2013. I'm standing here with a beautiful young lady. What is your name, madam? Julie Bell. Julie, what have we got here behind us? Can you give me a little insight in your business? And uh... This is my work. Uh, my uh, business name is Shattered Glass, Collage on Glass. I am a local artist. And go local. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about eight years now. Eight years. Awesome. Well, do you want to take a little stroll in here? Come on. Julie, walk with us. So look around. Can you pick a piece here and tell us a little bit about it? What went into making it and uh, how long it took you? Uh, well, I'll show you one of my bowls. So these are uh, kind of custom made. I, I, I use, uh, I start out with clear glass. So uh, some I uh, get online, but I do a lot of hunting for glass. So I go to different places and secondhand stores and everything. So I find all sorts of good stuff. Anyway, so this is just a sample. Uh, what my work consists of is collage on glass. So all the work is done from the back. It's a variety of handmade and recycled papers. Uh, in this case, some silver leaf. Uh, there's often uh, metallics, uh, dry pigments. Uh, all kinds of different stuff. If, if it's flat, it can go on the bowl. And uh, I always look for interesting things to, to work with. Now, what you see here is all hand cut uh, paper, kind of uh, obsessive compulsive kind of stuff going on here. That's awesome. <laughs> How I spend my <laughs> evenings, okay. <laughs> you know what, Julie, now I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm kind of taking it. Uh, I love your personality, number one. So. I'm looking at this, do you ever find yourself when you're creating, your moods absolutely being reflected in what you're creating? Uh, I imagine that's true, I'm told that. Are you? Yeah, I think, uh, I think everybody's like that. All creative people put something of themselves into their work, definitely. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Quick question, can anybody bring you items, for curiosity's sake, and ask you to customize something uh, for them? I've been approached. And it would depend. I have to see what it is. Some things are, uh, are going to be more appropriate than others. So, yes, I'm open to it, of course. Uh, everybody has their special mementos and that awesome. they want, uh, uh, you know, something, something exciting, something different, uh, maybe for a gift or definitely, yeah. Right on. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> for everybody out there, if you're interested, Julie's right here. But if you don't catch her here at Art in the Park, Julie, can you give them some information about where and how they can get a hold of you. You bet. Actually, uh, locally, uh, Nancy John's Gallery uh, carries my work. Uh, Nancy John's is on Wyandotte near Paulette, and she carries a, a huge amount of local art. Anybody going in there would be just uh, blown away by the beautiful stuff that Nancy has. And as a matter of fact, Nancy is one of our uh, uh, events in the manor uh, people. So. Okay. If you do want to get a preview of the sorts of things that she has in her gallery, that's the place to be this weekend. That's awesome. And you know what, to wrap up, Julie, how many years, how long have you been at Art in the Park? I have been here three years, um, but certainly have uh, all my life. I've, I've come to Art in the Park every year. I mean, come on. Yeah, <laughs> Actually, a friend of mine uh, came by today and they said, happy Art in the Park. And I thought, you know what, that should be a phrase that we all use, happy Art in the Park. <laughs> One way or another, everybody's touched art in the park. It's such a great, such, such a great thing for the city. Yeah. So, well, it's great to see you, Julie, and have a great weekend. All right. Thank you.